Hi everyone, my name is Nicole, and I wanna take a moment to share from God's Word about how God is our provider. When we put our faith in Jesus, God commissions Himself to provide, protect, and care for us. Philippians 4.19 says, And my God will liberally supply, fill until full, your every need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. There is freedom in knowing that we can fully depend on God to supply our every need. The key is that we keep our eyes fixed on Him as our source. It's so easy nowadays to make other things our source. Our job, our relationships, social media, our bank account. Let me remind you that God is a perfect and on-time source for everything we could ever want or need. We have human limitations, but we serve a limitless God. In fact, He wants to give us His best. Even before we bring something to Him in prayer, He is already working on our behalf. It can be a challenge to surrender control and trust that His plans and His timing are better than our own. Trust requires letting go. There's a stretching that happens when we trust God. Trust encourages you to look back and to remember the stories of how God came through for you, knowing that He is able to do it again. One of the best ways to trust God is to take Him at His word and rely on His character and His faithfulness. He is a God who never fails. Jeremiah 17, seven through eight says, "'Blessed are those who trust in the Lord "'and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. "'They are like trees planted along a riverbank "'with roots that reach deep into the water. "'Such trees are not bothered by the heat "'or worried by long months of drought, their leaves stay green, and they never stop producing fruit. Now that's true provision. That's a promise that even in dry seasons, when we lack, God will supply more than enough if we place our trust in Him. So let me ask you this today. Is there an area of your life where you can depend on God more? I am continually challenged by God's Word to lean on Him and to rest in His promises. It does no good worrying when God is already working. He is for you, not against you. Know that He is piecing together every detail in your story. I'll end with this today. Matthew 6, 26. Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Know that God loves you and He sees you right where you're at. He loves you so much that He sent His only Son to die for you so that you might have eternal life, the greatest gift of all. Let me pray for us today. God, we thank you that you are a good and faithful Father. You see us right where we're at. Lord, help us to trust you more today. God, we know that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are the God who supplies every need and you are more than enough. So Lord, we commit this day to you and we thank you for who you are in our lives. In your precious and mighty name we pray, amen.